are you open to the idea of President Biden using executive action to pass parts of the Build Back Better Act? Well, I think we have to be clear that um, we need long-term durable policy and executive action can be helpful, but it does not provide durable policy. That's Congress's role. And so I think Congress needs to act. And especially we look at things like the child tax credit, the only way we're gonna extend that is through passing legislation. We are a co-equal branch of government. We have to do our part. So, so, then, so then what's the, pa the best way forward for legislation? Well, we're going to continue those discussions um, to look at uh, how we bring uh, policy together. Sometimes policy goes through rough passage along the way to, um, to finally getting it passed. And part of it is having a discussion about the impact we're seeing. Um, and the child tax credit is a great example. We have seen incredible impact just in the last six months. Um, those first checks went out in July. We have, as of November, 3.8 million children who've been lifted out of poverty across our country. Um, families being able to put food on the table, pay bills, um, buy essentials for their kids like diapers or clothing. Um, this has been an incredible tax break for middle-class families and we need to keep it going. And the data is very, very strong. Um, this creates huge opportunities for our kids mm -hmm. long to the future. And the way that we're going to make a difference is by keeping it going. We need to keep it going. So, Congresswoman Del Bene, as the chair of the moderate New Democrat coalition, I'm wondering, have you spoken to Senator Manchin about a possible way forward? Um, I have not spoken to him about a way forward right now. I think when we go back in January, those conversations will continue um, because we have to talk about the data, what we've seen, but how important it is that we make a difference for families. People want to see governance work. They want to see us get things done. Um, um, as the chair of the New Dems, most of us um, represent purple districts across the country. And folks on both sides of the aisle want to see governance work. That's the opportunity we have between the House and the Senate to, um, to show them. We, shot, we sh made that happen with the infrastructure bill. We can show them it can happen with Build Back Better. But there's more mm -hmm. work we have to do to get there. And again, it's important that we have long-term durable policy that families can count on. How imperative, does it leave aside what could possibly be in the final Build Back Better Act, but how imperative is it that a Build Back Better Act gets passed out of the Senate, passed out of the House again, and on the president's desk for his signature so that you and your colleagues can go out and campaign on it. If you if that doesn't happen, will that be would that be a disaster for Democrats going into 2022? Well, good policy is good politics. Um, the way folks make decisions at election time is to understand what their member of Congress was able to do for them. And one of the biggest things we can do is make sure we're making investments in our communities and our families and workers. Mm -hmm. um, that's part of what this legislation would do. We have we did it with the infrastructure bill. We need to do it with Build Back Better as well.